Hi, my name is Mary and Calmer. I'm a farmer from Western Illinois, also on Calmer Cornheads. And we've been working with combines for many, many years. I'm coming up on my 55th harvesting season. And uh, we've come out with what we call a high performance concave upgrade kit for the deer combine and eventually have it for other machines. Concaves, in my opinion, are non-adjustable sieves. And their job is to let the grain fall out, but limit the amount of crop material that falls out of the chamber. So if the opening of the concave is too small and we're harvesting corn, then the grain is going to get carried out the back and we'll get some rotor loss. And we had noticed that uh, here with our, our 680 and uh, tried a lot of different settings and it didn't seem to have much luck. And then we also noticed a fair amount of ground uh, shell corn in, in the sample. And so during the winter, uh, we set up our own little testing area in, in my farm shop. We shut everything off underneath and we put in little dividers and then we would load the feeder house with a hundred ears of corn and we'd run it through the machine and then we would come back and we would measure where the shell corn fell. Much to our surprise, a lot of that shell corn was getting carried on back into the separating area. So it was getting a late drop. Therefore, that would explain why we were seeing some rotor loss and also why we would see some ground corn because it was staying in the chamber and it wasn't getting a chance to escape. So we started experimenting uh, with concaves that had a different gap between the round bar. Sure enough, that's all it took. We just widened it out uh, a little bit and all of our problems went away. So that works for corn. But then as we go to wheat or to soybeans, now that wide gap is too large. And so it's not retaining the plant material. So then we get a lot of fodder down here into the cleaning area, and then it overloads the chaffer. So the fan struggles, the sieve struggle, and then we're seeing a lot of return and unthraced pods. So our uh, high-performance upgrade kit comes with three new concaves, and then it comes with 12 inserts to use for wheat or for soybean. So I'll demonstrate here for you uh, because I, I farm and, you know, speed is of the essence when I'm switching from corn to beans. So if I'm going to go to corn, simply pop these inserts out and I can take all 12 of them out. And then I've got the nice big opening here and reduce the rotor loss, reduce the grinding of the shell corn. Now, let's say it dries back up and I want to go back to cutting soybeans. Well, I don't want to have to switch all the concaves out. So we put in these what we call quarter wrap uh, mog limiting inserts. And it's just a bar that'll go in between the round bars that throttle down the size of that opening so that these non-adjustable sieves will be able to let the soybeans or the wheat drop through but it'll retain more of that plant material up here in the rotor and send it on out the back so that the sieve down underneath doesn't have to work with it. So it takes a little getting used to uh, to put these inserts uh, in and out, but uh, it's a pretty simple process. And um, now I can get my combine to perform at its peak level both in corn and in soybeans or wheat without a lot of hard work. So with that, if uh, you have any questions, go to our website, calmercornheads.com. If you're interested in getting a, a free estimate, 
Uh, you can uh, call our front office at 309-629-9000. If you happen to be out this fall and you make any one of the farm shows that, that we're exhibiting at, uh, we will have these displays and we can show you in person how all of this works. And last but not least, if you're having trouble or you have any questions, give me a call on my cell phone, 309-368-1182. Hopefully we'll be able to help you fine tune your combine so that you can get peak performance this fall.